By now, you've probably heard about the plastic bag ban in Oregon. Maybe you've experienced it yourself. Plastic bags are not allowed to be handed out in stores anymore, and taking a paper bag is going to cost you a nickel. Well, Fox 12 has already spoken to local grocery stores about this change, but today, Fox 12's Brenda Kelly caught up with a comic book store owner who's rethinking this new law. I love comic books. Inside the walls of Comics Adventure. I've been reading comic books since I was a little boy. Bruce Treat has built a community. I'm kind of like a bartender, but without alcohol. You come in and we talk about some of the same stories that we all read. So when it comes to checking out. So I'm required to charge you a bag fee. Bruce wants it to be anything but a hassle. Uh, so $3.99. On January 1st, a plastic bag ban went into effect in Oregon, not just for grocery stores, but all retailers too. I figured that I would have uh, an exemption because that's usually the way these things work. I don't make a million dollars or I don't, you know, I don't have 200 employees or something. Bruce and other small business owners say they didn't know about the law until recently. State officials say it was up to each individual city and county to educate. It's also up to local law enforcement to impose the fine. $250 each day violate the law. But at Comics Adventure, Bruce felt the five cent fee for a comic book or a little Yoda just didn't add up. By law, I'm mandated to charge you five cents. I see nothing, as far as I can tell, that says I can't give it back to you. Bruce charges five cents for his paper bags, a state-mandated fee to help businesses recover the cost. Then, Bruce gives a five-cent discount. I just have a button that says, that cancels it out. He says rethinking the law is keeping his customers happy. We didn't need to get into politics about it. It's, I just made it very simple. Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon. Well, if you're wondering about how your city will enforce the new law, give them a call. We did reach out to several city officials around Oregon. Portland and Beaverton officials say they'll focus on education before considering issuing citations.